Hello, so nice that you are here. My name is Hannah and I am a trained Liebscher and Bracht therapist. Today we are doing an evening routine against tension and pain in the entire body. Let's begin. Stand up and bend forward. Just let your arms hang down and let gravity pull you down. And also pay attention to your head here. Do not lift it up, but let it hang completely loose and relax downwards so that you have a good stretch on the back of your leg. Depending on how much tension you have in your back, you can also feel this stretch in the lower back, middle back, and upper back. Your legs are straight and breathe gently through your nose here. If you notice that your breath is interrupted, then come out of the exercise a little. Test yourself to your own limit. Come up slowly, straighten up, and we move on to the next exercise. Come onto your mat, spread your knees wide apart, feet together, place your hands down, and let your groin hang towards the floor. It may crack you, everything is okay. If you have pain in the lower back, please take a break from the exercise. Tighten your abdomen slightly so that you don't put too much pressure on your lower back. It doesn't matter at all whether the feet lift off or not. You feel the stretching in your hip area, towards the groin, abdominal area, and it can be. Depending on how far apart you have gone with your knees, the inner side of your thighs may also feel a slight pull. And if you notice that your lower back is sagging a lot, push yourself back a little. Very, very important. Also pay attention to your breath here. Come out of the exercise slowly and either you sit back on your heels, stretch your hands out, rest your head, like I do. Or make a cat hump in the quadruped position, whatever is best for you, just to relax and relieve the lower back.
Place it in front of you on the floor and close your hip. That means bring your left hip to your right heel so that you have a good stretch in the right buttock and thigh area. It's okay if you can't go all the way down. Go into the position as far as it is possible for you. If you can, feel free to go further down with your upper body towards your foot, not towards your knee. And then you'll notice that you're getting a diagonal pull, maybe a little more towards the sacrum, maybe a little higher towards the spine. And remember, the faster you can relax, the faster your body can let go. Come out of the exercise again. We change sides. Place your left leg forward, bent on the ground. And then you have the stretch in your left buttock, towards the thigh as well. It may also be a bit on the inside. That's okay. Why is it actually so important to stretch the gluteal muscles? The nerves come out of our spine on the left and right side and have to make their way partly to the fingertips and to the feet. That means they are located between muscles, fascia. And if there is a lot of pressure on them, it can happen that we compress a nerve. And especially in the buttock area, you may have already heard of the sciatic nerve. It gets a lot of pressure there. A great exercise to relieve the pressure. And also for all those who have SI joint issues. The gluteal muscle is the only muscle that stabilizes the SI joint, which is your sacroiliac joint. That means, if it has a lot of tension, it can put a lot of pressure on you there. With this exercise, you can release the pressure again, and come out of the exercise. Sit on your buttocks, place your feet on the ground, hands behind your back. Important here. Push your chest up towards the ceiling and move your buttocks forward until you feel a stretch in your arm, upper arm, possibly also in the chest area, front shoulder. And I know that can be exhausting, but don't give up. Press your chest towards the ceiling again and again. I know, you have a lot of pressure on your elbow here. Don't worry, nothing will break through.
When it becomes very uncomfortable, move your buttocks back a little, but stay in this stretch. It will also get better each time. Okay, pull your knees in and come out of the exercise. Make a pause. Lie on your back, place your right leg up and pull your leg over with your left arm, so to the left side. Your right arm is 90 degrees away from your body. If possible, turn your head towards your right hand. And also here it's not about how far you can twist but rather about the rotational movement in the muscles of your spine. Let your shoulder, your right shoulder, lie on the ground and breathe in. Maybe you can go a little further on the exhale. Rotation, also rotational movement in your spine, has a balancing effect on your autonomic nervous system. And maybe you also notice that with each breath you become a little calmer and more relaxed. Come back slowly, we change sides. Place your left arm next to your body at a 90 degree angle. Place your left leg up and pull it over with your right hand. It may crack a little here, that's okay. And very often when we go into this position we tense up. Go consciously with your attention into your back, where it pinches the most, and let go there. If it's too bad, too strong, the rotation, turn back a bit. Come out of the position slowly. Maybe you want to pull your legs towards you for a moment. And that's it for today. Nice that you were there. If you still feel like having a morning routine, then click here and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.